Ignite our weekend has been terrific so far. Meteorologist Jennifer Cray is here with our Sunday forecast. See if it's going to continue, Jennifer. Well, it's continuing, except uh, we do have a front that's headed our way. It arrives late tonight, uh, clears by later tomorrow morning. Uh, that's going to bring us a chance for a shower. But so far this morning, it's been quiet on the radar. And what a beautiful uh, view this is. Uh, Mike Sand taking this in Las Olas, the intercoastal, looking so nice out there. And I say it's a good day to go out on the water and do some fishing. See, it's only two to three feet. The bay's at a light shop. The breeze turning more out of the south throughout today and staying very light. Uh, wind speeds topping 10 miles per hour, maybe up to 12, but overall a light wind. And for beachgoers, that rip current risk today is uh, low now, and it looks nice, beautiful. Now, the water temperature is about 76 degrees, so a little cool for me, but I think uh, being out there on the sand today is going to feel nice especially because highs will eventually get into the up, uh, lower 80s. Right now, we're in the mid-60s for the most part. Upper 60s, though, right along the coast in Broward from Pompano Beach to Fort Lauderdale, and then 70 degrees in Miami, 63 in West Kendall, 64 in Pembroke Pines. And between uh, the upper 60s and the mid-70s down through the Keys, winds are calm between Fort Lauderdale and Homestead right now. Picks up a little bit down through Key West. Here's the front. It's associated with a low pressure system uh, spinning right about here over the Panhandle in the southeast. The front trails down into the Gulf of Mexico up to the north, mid-Atlantic and northeast area dealing with rain, a little bit of ice and even some snow in central Pennsylvania. All of this will eventually uh, be moving towards uh, the northeast coast. Back down south here, this front comes in not until tonight. So by tomorrow, we're still dealing with cloud cover. Although we saw a lot of rain right now over the panhandle, a lot of that rain is going to dissipate. So only a chance for uh, isolated to spotty showers, in fact. And that's not going to be until late today, later in the evening through overnight hours. Uh, so for anyone that's planning to head to the game today at 1 o'clock, it's going to be dry out there with uh, partly sunny skies. Then overnight tonight, showers will start to pop up out ahead of the front. Here's that line moving through about 11 a.m. Uh, could have a few showers with it, but for the most part, mostly cloudy. And then it clears out uh, from north to south through the rest of Monday afternoon and a little bit cooler by Tuesday morning and Tuesday afternoon as well. Highs today 82, so this is above the normal of 77. Tonight's low 68 degrees, so uh, cool, but a few degrees above the normal. And then tomorrow after the clearing, highs only 80 degrees. And here's a look at that seven-day forecast. So in the 70s and breezy Tuesday, Wednesday, warming up out ahead of the second front. This one's going to be a stronger one, cooling us down to the 60s for highs on Christmas Day.